Hello everybody. In this video, we would like to teach you four crucial steps in your preparation of any professional and print-ready PDF file using Adobe Illustrator. Don't worry if you're not so familiar with Illustrator though. The tutorial is meant for a basic skills level. So let's get started. The first topic of the video will be how to properly set up your file. Obviously, the first thing that you always do when opening up Illustrator is setting up your document. It might sound easy peasy, but there's a couple of items to always remember. To create a new project, we simply click on File and New. First up is naming the project. It's always good to choose an obvious name, like My Business Cards, in this case. In this example, we will also need two artboards, one for the front of our business cards and one for the back. For the spacing between artboards, let's put two centimeters. We then select our preferred unit of measurement. For me, centimeters is the most convenient, so I'll just pick that. Then we set the dimensions to nine times five and a half centimeters, which is a very standard business card size. In Thailand, there are three popular business card sizes that most people choose from. Nine times five and a half centimeter, nine times five centimeter, and eight and a half times five and a half centimeters. Next up is bleed, which is one of the most important settings for print artwork. We need to set bleed to 0.3 centimeters on all sides of the artwork to ensure that there will be no white borders after cutting. Don't worry, we'll explain more on this later. In the final step, we need to make sure that in the advanced tab, we selected CMYK color mode, as it's the most common for printers. Picking RGB mode might result in color differences when printing, so that's a no-no. Once this is all done, we click OK to create the file. After the initial setup of our document, it's time to create safety margins and add the actual bleed areas. To achieve the highest quality printing results, you must ensure that your files have 0.3 cm of bleed and 0.3 cm of safety margin. This is important, as it may happen that cutting occurs a little bit too far out, which is why you need bleed, or too far in, which is why you need a safety margin. Bleed ensures that there is no white border at the edge of our product after cutting. The safety margin ensures that no important content is cut out from the artwork. So in our example, the blue area indicates the bleed zone, and the white box indicates the limits of the safe zone. Here you can see the artwork with full bleed, which we create by adding 0.3 centimeters on each side of our cards. So instead of just 9 times 5.5 centimeters, the total dimension of our artwork becomes 9.6 times 6.1 centimeters. No worries though, your printed business cards will still be 9 times 5.5 centimeters. Next, we create the safe zone using the rectangle tool and setting the size of the rectangle to 8.4 times 4.9 centimeters, which is the format that we want minus 0.3 centimeters on each side. After clicking OK, we click Align, then Align Center to align it with the artboard. Finally, we right click the rectangle and select Make Guides. Now that bleed and safety margins are properly set, Ensure that all graphic and text elements extend no further than the turquoise border. Any important information between the turquoise border and the red border could get lost during the cutting process. Once our design is satisfying, and right before saving our file, we need to embed the photo elements and create outlined fonts. If you were ever informed by your printing house that your photos and text were not found, you know why this step is important. Because this is what happens when you don't embed an outline. Embedding photos and outlining text ensures that our images and text are always viewable and printable, no matter where the file is opened. So let's look at how to do this. After importing an image and resizing it to fit the artboard, we select the image and click on the Embed button, before making a clipping mask if needed to clean up the working area. To create outline fonts, we keep the Shift button on our keyboards pressed, select all the text, then click Type, and create outline. Now that bleed and safety margins are properly set, ensure that all graphic and text elements extend no further than the turquoise border. Any important information between the turquoise border and the red border could get lost during the cutting process. Finally, once you made 100% sure that your file is ready for printing, you can complete the final step by clicking File, Save As in the top menu. For high quality, it's important to select all of these options. Under Adobe PDF Preset, we need to choose High Quality Print. 
For the standard, we select PDF X1A 2001. Under general, we also need to select optimize for fast web viewing and view PDF after saving. And finally, under marks and bleeds, we will pick trim marks, registration marks, and use document bleed settings. And there we have the file. Yay! So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this video will be beneficial to those of you who want to prepare print ready PDF files that can be submitted directly to your printing house. Not only should the video help you reduce your processing time, but also help you create stunning and professional business cards. Please also feel free to download our free business cards template using the link below. See you for our next video. Cheers.